What's up everybody? So uh, I have this 95 Jeep Wrangler that I picked up for a rock crawler. I'm going to use it this season. And it does really well. I mean, it's great. The only thing is it came without any top. So I ended up finding a soft top on Craigslist. And the soft top is in great condition aside from this window here on the driver's side door. So what I'm going to do, I mean, there's really not a way to fix it. You can use the plastic stuff that, that kind of you... you you bind two different liquids and it makes a plastic, but that's really hard, really hard. And I, I want it to be somewhat flexible so that it's not just like kind of a stake, you know, in the window. Um, so what I'm going to try, as you can see, it's it's ripped here. That's the actual plastic and there's tape behind it. And there's some ripping down here. I mean, this stuff I'm not that concerned with. I'll see what I can do, but I'm more concerned with this here. And there's some down here as well. But what I'm going to try, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but there's something called Bondic. And it's this this um, liquid that when you touch UV light to it, it ends up making it solid, like almost instantly. Uh, I did some research on it, and Bondic, uh, from what I understand, smells pretty bad. And there's a better product out there. From what I've read, I'm going to give it a shot. But what it is, is it's called Laser Bond. And I think it was about 10 bucks for this package. And I'm hoping this package is enough. I have two just in case. But I'm going to use it and I'm going to try to fill these holes in and then solidify it and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off and bring it inside and we'll see what happens. All right, so I got it inside here and I have it on a little workspace. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just pull all this tape off uh, in hopes of kind of cleaning it up. I want to get some rubbing alcohol or something like that to clean this up as best as I can. And I think after I do that, I'll go ahead and put more tape on the back as kind of a backing so that it catches the liquid before it hardens. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and we'll get at it. Alright, so what I did is I cleaned it up as best as I could with uh, alcohol and uh, went ahead and just put some scotch tape on the back. I'm doing this just so that there's a flat surface to catch the liquid and also um, to kind of keep it together as I work with it. So hoping it'll tear off at the end. If not, I'll just tear off as much as I can and it's better than it you know, was before. Uh, obviously this is already bad, so I don't really care how it comes out. I just would like it not to leak rain or water when it rains, I should say. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and get started. All right, so now I flipped it over, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just fill in the crack and, and see how it looks. Um, another reason I should say I picked this this uh, laser bond instead of Bondic is I've read that it comes out clear rather than yellow. Now, in this case, yellow wouldn't have been bad because the window itself is kind of yellow, but um, I'm going to go ahead and just fill in these cracks here and see what happens. basically creating a window let it settle a little bit and the cool thing about this stuff is you can get it exactly how you want it before you harden it it doesn't harden on its own um, you can even get it on your hands and it's just like this oily liquid so as you can see I'm just trying to fill the gap here Hitting both sides, making sure that both sides are touching, making sure it has enough liquid to fill that gap and still has some structure. Put a little extra on there just to be safe. I'm going to go a little bit higher just to end that crack so that it doesn't come out further later on. I mean, I think that does pretty, pretty well cover everything. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cap this off. And I would imagine this would work on any convertible out there. Uh, anything that has this type of a, a roof to it. Now I'm just gonna hit it all with this imp or UV light. I'm not sure how long it takes, but
go one more time. Now let's see how it feels. Wow, it's already hard. It's a little bit warm too, so there's some sort of a chemical reaction going on obviously when you hit it with UV light. Wow, that's pretty pretty impressive. Um, let me see if I can pull some of this tape off and see what happens. See if it sticks to it, or I'm sure it will. It pretty much bonds to anything, so. Stuck to some of it. so it didn't really hold it. Let's go ahead and hit that again. Kind of spread it out over the window. Maybe I shouldn't have gone with such a small amount of surface area. Again, I don't know that this would be a permanent fix, that's for sure. But I think if you were to do a couple layers like this, it should hold and at least get rid of any leaking that you have. So I'm going to hit that before it drips. Try to fill that hole in. So now I'm going to try and get it all the way here on the outside. And I'll probably do this on both sides. Just to make sure it has something to bond to. Because otherwise, just filling in the crack wasn't really cutting it. Pretty impressed so far though. I mean... Didn't perfectly fix everything yet, but I think this will do a good job once I get both sides tied in nicely. Very slight smell. Doesn't smell bad, surprisingly. I'm indoors, not like I'm ventilated, and I barely smell it. Let's see how that does, huh? Wow, that's pretty awesome. And that's a lot of force I'm putting down on it, and it's holding. Let's try and uh, flip it over and see what's on the other side. Maybe I can do the same thing over there. All right, so I flipped it over, and I'm just going to kind of get these edges all tied in so that we're strong for sure. I'm not sure how much is in this tube, but it seems to be quite a bit. I'm just going to rub this around make sure all the edges are tied in. little hole there. I'm going to fill that in. Just kind of cap that off again so that I don't have any tearing additionally. And I'm just going to rub it around, make sure everything's nice and mixed up and touching each side of the crack. It's pretty unbelievable. If this actually works, save me from having to buy, you know, a $200 set of doors, or the, the upper doors. Especially considering this is a rock crawler. I don't really need it to be a daily driver and looking perfect. Alright, let's see.
Let's see what we got. Almost dry to the touch, but there was a little bit of a sticky substance, so I'm going to go over it a little bit more. All right. So I'm holding the whole door up like that with my finger, and it's not ripping. I would say that's a success. Wow. Pretty impressive. Doesn't look the best, but at the same time, who cares? I mean, it's a Jeep. So I think what I'm going to try to do is maybe get some of these fibers over this side, and heck, I'll just try to seal it. Maybe it'll bind to all of that, and it'll just be a nice little plastic strip right there. And then also over here. Very excited. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get to work on the rest of this, but I will uh, cut back with the video and let you know how it went. Alright, so I went ahead and finished it all up. As you can see, I got it all down in that crack there. I went up there. And then I also did this side. Pretty impressive. I mean, it's completely sealed from any chance of water getting into it and it's solid I mean I can like I said I can lift the whole window up and it doesn't come free I found another crack that was hard to see so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna put it back on the truck or the Jeep and I'll uh, show you the finished product all right, so all done, and everything is sealed. I found a little crack here that was kind of minute, but filled it in anyway so that it doesn't get any bigger. I mean, I'm pushing on this, and look, it doesn't, it doesn't move. It's incredible. So I'd say, yeah, on a, a Jeep that looks like this, great solution. Cost me... $10 for one tube, and I had to go a little bit into the second tube, but very minimally. I was surprised at how much I got out of that first tube. So, I mean, if you have some cracks in your windows or even your soft top, um, I'd say go for it. This stuff's pretty awesome. And if you don't care about the looks, obviously that doesn't look great, but it certainly does the trick, you know. All I was worried about is rain. If I ever get rain and I want to make sure this thing's not getting rust holes in the floor um god i'm amazed at how i'm pushing that in hard you can see my finger indentation i'm pushing so hard let me know if you have any questions pretty good stuff i'm i'm definitely a fan hopefully you like this video and hopefully it helps you save some money later